Happy Friday. 2017 is gone. Every time I think of since we've been in the year 2000, well, I don't know, since when we were approaching the year 2000, it was kind of like, oh my God. But because the year 2000 is a marker in my life, I am always astounded at the years that have passed since 2000. Because I'm not the greatest mathematician, so it's very easy for me to calculate that, oh, 2000, there's been 17 years. <laughs> But I'm just like, what? That feels like yesterday. It feels like just yesterday. And at the same time, I'm like, so much has happened since then in my life, um, in the scope of the world, that it's just kind of mind, it boggles my mind. But at the end of the year, obviously a time of reflection and gratitude, um, because I tend to just think about all the people, when I look at people's families on, on, on any social media, uh, I, I get grateful that I know these people and then I'm like, just, I don't know, I think about the times that we've spent over the years, which fills me with gratitude and I don't know. I'm, and, and, and it's because of social media, for the most part, that I'm able to basically feel so connected. And then I get the, on the extension of that, I get to, you know, call them or text them and communicate if I don't have the luxury of being able to see them. Best thing about social media, in my opinion, you know, to stay connected, to have a community outside of the immediate community in which I'm a part of, become a global community. That's, that's the amazing thing. I mean, and always the challenge is to be transparent with those in the community so they can help you when you're going through a rough time. Um, and asking for help is never easy. I'm not, I, I, it's not my favorite thing in the world. It's gotten a little bit easier over the years. Um, but there are a number of people in my life that I am transparent with. And that's awesome. I'm glad that I have those people. If you don't have those people, I encourage you to find people you trust. Become vulnerable. Allow yourself to have that experience, to be vulnerable enough to share that intimacy with somebody. It doesn't only, you know, it doesn't need to be physical intimacy. It's the emotional intimacy is there regardless of the physicality. Um, it's just about being honest and uh, vulnerable. Meeting that vulnerability with one another, I think, is what builds the love. And I think that's what it's all about. It's not about the outside stuff that we are commercially and capitalistically taught that that's what it's all about. Get the outside stuff and the inside will follow. It's a pitfall that I fall that I that I trip over all the time. Work on the inside stuff, and the outside stuff may follow. They may, but if I am happy with who I am, who and what I am right now, circumstances don't matter as heavily. If I'm worried about circumstance, my interior could crumble at any moment. Much love. More tomorrow. Blah 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 blah. Have a fantastic Friday.